The vanishing point filter allows you to place objects in perspective. Go to Filter and choose Vanishing Point. The first thing you have to do is to define a perspective plane. And you do this by clicking on the corners of a visible rectangle within the image. If it turns red, that's an illegal perspective. Just adjust it until it goes blue. You can now extend this grid to fill the whole wall. You can bend around the corner by holding Command or Control and tearing off another wall at 90 degrees to that. Of course, you'll need to adjust this wall as well. Once again, if it goes red, it's illegal. It'll go blue when it's a genuine perspective. We'll use the Stamp tool to get rid of this indicator. Option or Alt-click to set the source point. And now you can paint over the offending area, and it paints over it in perspective. Hit OK to return to your image. We'll make a new layer. And go back into Vanishing Point. We can select this door using the Marquee tool, and you can see how it draws the rectangle in perspective. Hold Command and Option, or Control and Alt, to pick it up and move a copy and we can drag it around this corner. I'll put it on top of the lift entrance and use Free Transform to make it a bit wider. When we hit OK, there it is in position. And because we made a new layer, we can always turn it off and go back to the original.